Hello viewers and potential subscribers, you're watching Unknown Emerald and in this episode I'll be showcasing the top 5 infection prefabs, so let's get to it. As always, we'll be starting this episode off small. This is a beware sign made by Sprankles, and there's not really much I can say about this sign other than you can use it, of course, outside of an entrance to an infection holdout. Something like a mineshaft entrance or just a house entrance, anything like that can be used for this type of sign. Moving up, we have some office based aesthetics made by RP Gallagher. And once again, not much I can say about these other than all of those can be used for an office based minigame, anything that's inside of the house, maybe something that's outside of the house, perhaps like a computer or a desk fell out of a building and outside side of the building. And those filing cabinets can definitely be used as blockades. For example, you can have a room which you do not want anyone to go to, you can use some filing cabinets and then some rubble on top of them to make it seem like an inaccessible area. Moving up, we have some more infection aesthetics made by Grey Muffin Bears, and these look particularly cool, especially the Scarecrow. I fell in love with the Scarecrow the second I put my eyes on it. He used some trash bags for the head, and then some sandbags for the main body, and a piece of grass for the bottom, and it came out so well. From what I've seen, what Grey Muffin Bass has done, he is mainly doing those for cemetery themed maps. So the Scarecrow, then there's a fence and the Iron Maiden. All of these are very cemetery based, or maybe a farm based for the Scarecrow in particular. He also made some graves and other aspects, so do check him out. He made quite a few different things, so if you want to make an infection map based on cemetery, do check him out. Now I'm sure most of you were expecting these to be in this type of episode, but those are some flood prefabs made by Elite Fury. And the second I put my eyes on them, I had this Halo 3 flashbacks in an instant. I was thinking of the Halo 3 floodgate mission, and I want someone to take these and put them in an actual map. I haven't actually seen a map used as flood aesthetics yet, and I really really want to see one of them. I do want to make one myself, but I don't have any good ideas. Maybe one of you has one of those in plan already, so do use this prefabs if you have the kind of map in hand already. Now the last prefab we'll be looking at this episode is a World War 2 troop transporter made by Mythical Twinkie. And this one looks really really cool, especially the fact that you can actually go onto the turrets which is really really cool. It does take a little bit of jumping but you can get there. And I like the idea of you defending the truck with all your life and having to kill all the zombies that are going onto it. This truck is really really cool and can definitely be used for a post apocalyptic kind of highway map where there's a lot of cars and then there's this big power vehicle in the middle of the road where people can go onto to it and defend it with all the life. So that was pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and one last thing before I leave is if you guys have an idea for a top 5 prefab of the week episode, post your ideas in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check them out. Last thing, make sure to credit all the forges, give them likes if you enjoy the prefabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys give this one a like too, subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time so see you. Let's this go. This is a new way to travel in Halo 5. The new way to travel in Halo 5. <laughs> Nothing is gonna go wrong, guys. <laughs> top I think I just of, got uh, NSA, we're coming in. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck Our, is going on? Someone rocket that artillery. shit. Someone fire a rocket right at it. Air artillery.